Sometimes we meditate for ourselves, sometimes we meditate for others. Today is the day of the passing of the woman we call Grandma Yom Gao, who was the head of the kitchen for 18 years at the monastery, died while working in the kitchen, had a heart attack. And so we want to show our gratitude to her. So we send some good thoughts in her direction, wherever she, she may be right now. We do this for her and also for ourselves, to remind ourselves of the goodness of gratitude. We live in a world where people seem to be less and less grateful all the time. And as a, as a result, things begin to fall apart. Because what does gratitude mean? It means you think of what was done by the other person. That's what literally the word katanyu in Pali means. You have a sense of what the other person had done, the choices that person had made to be helpful to you. The person had to go out of his or her way. They had to. These people had to put up with some hardships. And it was for your happiness, for your well-being, for your goodness. You should appreciate that. And always think of the goodness that you've gotten from other people. And that way you'd be more likely to want to pass some goodness on. This is another way we show our gratitude for her, for the people who've done good for us, and which is that we try to think of good ways if that person is not around. We do good things, dedicate the merit to that person. And also try to keep some goodness alive in the world. And gratitude is an important way of doing that. So, as you meditate today, dedicate the merit of your meditation to Grandma and other people who have made the monastery possible, and all the people who have done good for you throughout, throughout your life. It's, it's good to sit down sometime and think about all the people you've benefited from, and where they might be right now. And now it's good to send some merit in their direction, some goodwill in their direction, and to be determined to to be determined to pass goodness on into the world. So the goodness the other person has done for you doesn't die with you, that it keeps on going. You think of the Buddha on the night of his passing away. When asked how to show respect, he said, show respect by practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. In other words, he didn't need flowers and incense and candles. The devas at the time were singing songs to him, spreading incense down in the earth. He said, that's not the way you show true respect for someone like the Buddha. The way you show true respect is to put their teachings into practice. So in the same way, people have done good for you, you try to pass the goodness along. And that's how you show your respect for them and your respect for the principle of goodness. That even when good people died, there's still goodness left in the world. There's still the opportunity to do good left in the world. So try to make the most of that opportunity.